naglalagay niyan. Ang totoo naman kung ano nang pinaglalagay na rekado dito eh. Mali-mali eh. Papa, papano po nat? Ayoko na po. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Chair, Yes. Uh, tatanungin ko lang si Atty. Mr. Chair, I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. I was about to say that. Is Atty. Pokalyan o Pokalan? Pokalyan po, sir. Oh, Atty. Pokalyan, you were working under Atty. Asuncion at the time. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. hawak nung ginawa mong legal opinion. Nagkalap ka ng mga jurisprudence na ang sinasabi, even the principle of finality of judgment can be changed. Kasi, isipisipin mo, Mr. Chair, ipinanalo nga ng PhilHealth, sumuporta na nga ang uh, Court of Appeals. Inuphold na nga Talagang tama lang na suspindihin ng 3 months ang perpetual support. Akalain mong gagawa ng policy na palitan yung 3 months suspension. Alisin. Mr. Chair, alam niyo ba kung ano yung average na claim ng uh, perpetual support per month between 2016 to 2018? Alam mo ba, Tony Pocalian, kung ilan ang average monthly claim ng perpetual sugar sa ano sa pill health sir hindi po ha 30 million di ba monthly 30 million to ni po kayan ang hirap naman sa inyo nagkakunwa-kunwari pang hindi niyo maintindihan 30 million ang average na kine-claim ng perpetual sugar kaya kapag sinuspend mo for 3 months maliwanag na 90 million ang mawawala sa kanila So gumawa kayo ng policy ngayon, ikaw ang gumawa ng legal opinion na pwedeng palitan kahit na yung desisyon upheld na ng court at naging final and executory. Ang sabi mo rin, nangalap ka ng desisyon eh. Oh, isa sa mga na nakuha mong jurisprudence, pupwede ka niya na palitan yung final and executory nature ng isang kaso. Hindi po, sir. Oo. Oh. Bakit nga ngayon gagamitin mo itong mga desisyon na ito? Meron pang isa. Noon pro entries. As a lawyer, kabisado mo yon. Mga entrada ito na dapat nandun sa pagkakamali lang, kaya nilagay sinuplay. Parang pinsang buo din ng clerical errors. Tama? Sir, can I explain the factual background of that? na tinatawang kita, hindi ko sa mga explain ka. Okay. Ito ang mga kondisyon na pupwede lang ng isang desisyon na final na ay pwede mong baguhin. Kasi clerical lang naman eh. Halimbawa, nagkamali yung nag-type. Ang award is 10 million. Ang nailagay niya 10 pesos. Eh, hindi naman, mali naman talaga. Kailangan itama mo. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng clerical. Yun ang nook pro tunk entries. O ang isa pang kondisyon na pwede mong palitan... Kung void ang judgment, void ba yung judgment? Nang galing sa arbitration office, pinagtibay ng PhilHealth, yun void ang judgment? Void ba, Atty. Pocalian? Hindi. No, sir. Oh, gagamitin mo ba ngayon, ito ang dahilan mo para palitan mo yung suspension at i-maximize na lang daw, Mr. Chair, yung penalty na lang ng fine. Bakit? Alam mo, alam mo, alam mo yung ginawa mo dito sa sa yung uh, ito, pare-pareho. Correction of clerical errors. Kinalap niya ang mga jurisprudence para palitawin niya na po pwedeng palitan ang isang decision that has become final and executory. Ang sabi niya, ang isa pa, yung technicality ka niya, hindi po pwedeng manaig. Doon sa substantive right ka nung partido. Anong technicality dito, Atty. Paul Galian? Anong substantive right ang nawala sa, sa posokor samantalang napatunayan nyo na nag-falsify ng entries? In-extend niya yung uh, confinement ng mga patients. Anong Practice. sinasabi mo 
na mayroong technicality over substantive right. Anong substantive right ang pinuproteksyonan nitong ginawa mong legal opinion? Uh, ginawa mo ito dahil sa isang specific case? Yes, sir. Okay. The Bidina bakit, gener bakit hindi mo sinight dito yung case? It is as if that this is generally directed to all cases. Yun niya, sir. Eh. That I might mean... necessitate the changing of a final nature of a particular decision. Yes, diba? sir. Actually, it, it pertains only to one case at that time because of there, was, there was a whistleblower ngang nag-appear sa board. Yan nga eh. Alam mo, yung pagsisinungaling kasi napakahirap ato ni Pokal yan. Kahit ano pang gawin mo. Itong Peel Health Board, number 2334, series of 2017. Tama? Hindi yes, ba ginamit ito do sa, pil, do, do sa perpetual sukor? Sir, may I refer you to our corporate secretary on that? Hindi mo alam itong Peel Health Board Resolution Number 2334? 2017? I'm, yes, sir. I'm familiar with that. Oo. Oh. Hindi ba ginamit ito sa perpetual soccer? Kasi ang ginawa ninyo, imbes na 10,000 pesos ang fine, ginawa ninyong 100 to 200,000. Mas importante sa inyo nga nyo na i-fine na lang ninyo kasi para hindi raw ma-interrupt yung service ng institution. Ang ipa-fine na lamang ay professionals. Hindi ba tama? Hindi ba ganito yung justification nitong PhilHealth Board na ito? Yes, sir po. Oh. Pinalitan ninyo yung three-month suspension ng accreditation, pinalaki na lamang ninyo yung kanyang fine. Ginamit ninyo itong PhilHealth Board resolution, ang basis niya yung ginawa mong resolution. Tama. Huwag kang tumango, sumagot ka. Uh, yes, yes, sir po. Oo. Oh. Sa mga katwid, kahit na pala, final and executory na ang isang desisyon, kayang-kaya ninyong palitan. Bakit? Mas mataas ka pa ba sa Court of Appeals at pinalitan mo? Ang sabi ng Court of Appeals, tama po kayo, Mr. Phil Health. Tama kayo, i-uphold ko kayo. In-uphold niya kayo eh, ng uh, Court of Appeals eh. Bakit ninyo pinalitan ang desisyon? Mr. Chair, tingnan mo na lang ang kabalintunaan ng lahat ng ito. Bakit nyo pa kasi sinuspindi? Ganun din palang gagawin ninyo. Sir, I think the Office of the Government Corporate Council has also issued a legal opinion Wala affirming that... Wala sa legal opinion ng Office of the Corporate Government Council or whatever. Hindi yun ang pinag-uusapan natin. Whatever opinion that this office will render, it doesn't matter. It has no relation. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, in ka na nga ng Court of Appeals. Okay? in ka na eh. Tama yung desisyon ninyo. Papalitan nyo pa. Ang tanong ko, eh ganun din pala ang kapupuntahan nito eh. Ba't nagrigo dun pa kayo? Ba't sinuspindi mo pa kasi? Hindi ba? Wala kayong malasakit talaga. Pa paano kaya kanina yung tinatanong ka ni ni Congressman Boeing, tinatanong ka niya, ano ba kang patakaran ng uh, pagsususpinde? Natatawa lang ako sa sagot mo eh. Wala talaga kayong masususpinde dahil sa PhilHealth Board Resolution 2334 Series of 2017 sapagkat hindi na ninyo pangangatawanan ang pagsususpinde. Ito yung PhilHealth Resolution. Hindi ba subsisting and enforceable pa itong resolution na ito? Di-revoke nyo na ba ito o hindi? Sir, uh, we have already recommended for the revocation of that... Uh, Ni-recommenda. Ang tinatanong ko sa'yo, subsisting ba or enforceable pa ngayon? Uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Congressman... No, tinatanong ko si Atty. Pokal yan. Ano? Alam mo ito eh. Sir, we have already recommended... Pag-aaralan nyo pa lang na i-revoke, di ba? Ngayon mo lang ngayon kasi ko, eh, na natiklo ka na eh. Kaya mo pag-aaralan. Ganyan naman kayo eh. Isipisipin mong gagawa ka ng legal opinion. Itinalaga po kayong lahat para, kumpuni, para sinupin po ninyo ang PhilHealth Fund. Proteksyonan natin sapagkat hindi po nyo pera yon. 
Ang sabi nga po dito sa, kung binabasa mo yung IRR ng Republic Act 7875, ito po yung PhilHealth Fund. Ganong sinasabi po rito? Title 1, Section 1, Paragraph I, Fiduciary Responsibility. Anong ibig sabihin nun? The program shall provide effective stewardship, funds management, and maintenance of reserves. Naintindihan mo yun, attorney, di ba? Attorney ka naman eh. Yun ang level ng pag-iingat na kinakailangan sa pera ng PhilHealth. Paano niyong gagawin yun? Nahuli mo na nga yung perpetual support. Eh. Napatunayan na ng arbitration office. Napatunayan ng board. Inapheld ka ng court of appeals. Pagkatapos gagawa ka ng opinion, napaniwala mo naman yung board na kinakailangang palitan. <laughs> Bakit korte ka ba? Is the Peel Health Board is a court para yung decision ng court of appeals, papalitan nyo pa? E eh, sasabi siguro ng court of appeals, pinagod nyo pa kami. Pinagod nyo pa kami. Eh, papalitan nyo rin pala yung opinion namin eh. Mas magaling pa pala kayo sa amin eh. Mr. Chair, kung tagabantay ka ng isang bagay, babantayan mong mabuti. Eh, bantay sa lakay naman pala kayo eh. Isipin mo itong pananagutan na ito, binibiro-biro lamang ninyo. Oh, may sasabihin ka. Meron kang gusto sabihin, sino yung nasa katabi mo? Did you want Atorin to say something? Awang. Atorni Mangawang, nung panahon na yun, at saka ngayon, pinresent sa board, ikaw ang corporate secretary, tama ba? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Did you ever say something about this? For example, nung gumawa siya ng, ano, ng uh, legal opinion, sino sa mga lawyers ninyo ang nagbigay man lamang ng kahit na ang opinion, huwag po, magkakamali po tayo dyan. May finality of judgment na yun eh. Napapalitan lang po ang hatol sabi nga natin, kung clerical lang, ima ba si Congressman Barsaga, inaward sa kanya ng court 10 million, ang nalagay 10 pesos. Sabi, hindi lang na naman palitan. Hindi na pwede, hindi mo papalitan. Nagkamali lang clerical eh. Nagkamali ba yung arbitration ninyo? Nagkamali ba yung Pill Health Board? Nagkamali ba yung Court of Appeals? Hindi. Ba't mo papalitan? Ganito po, ganito po kalala eh. Hola, hola, Coleta. Ah, Dr. Pargas, wala si uh, Mr. Dimsiako. Yang perpetual succor. Binigyan niyo ng IRM yan na 78 million pesos tama ba? Uh, Mr. Chair, your honor, uh, wala lang ako data po ng uh, You are IRM the fund management, na. ikaw ang nag-release ng pondo. You release 78 million to perpetual succor, is that correct? Uh, Under wala IRM. Lang data, your honor, sa Uh, IRM ng Perpetual Soccer. Ano? Wala lang ako data po. Uh, Che-check ko muna, Your Honor. No, I have the data here. I will tell, I'm telling you now. Bukod dun sa sinasabing kaso ni uh, Honorable Malcoreta, na ni-reverse ninyo yung inyong sarili, ni-rewardan nyo pa ng 78 million pesos under IRM. Who, who spoke for Perpetual Soccer in the Board of Directors? Who spoke po? I don't... I'm, I'm not aware if... I'm sorry. I'm not aware of any board member who, who, who has spoken with the uh, the perpetual succor, except that uh, the perpetual succor delivered the motion for reconsideration on December 9, 2018. Attorney Pokalian, uh, Pokalan, Pokalian, sino nagpagawa sa ng opinion para kampihan mo yung perpetual succor? Sorry, sorry sir. Who asked you to make that opinion in favor of uh, of overturning what was already a one case in the Court of Appeals? Sir, sorry, sir, hindi ko po na narin. Hindi. Sino ang nagsabi sa iyo na magbago ka ng, maggumawa ka ng recommendation sa board matapos kayo manalo sa Court of Appeals? Sir, the PhilHealth Board po ang nag... Particular sa board ang nag-motion. Mr. Chair, Attorney Mangawang. it was the Committee on Appealed Administrative Cases which requested... Sino yun? Particular member of the board? 
I think there were uh, seven or six members of the board at that time. Eh, isa lang ang magmo-motion sa board? Sino nag-motion? I, I don't have the records. Um, Sino yung anim? Sino yung anim na kumampi sa perpetual succor? Sino yung anim na board members? Are they the appointed ones or are they the ex-official -ex ones? Sino yung kumampi? So in the, gen on the, in the PBR 2418, uh, dated January 10, 2019, all, mem all board members present during the meeting when the uh, motion of uh, perpetual support was decided favorably, all 15 members signed the field health board resolution. Dr. Pargas, 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 Dr. Pargas,
Ang termino nga namin, mulat-mula pa. Sir Chairman? Eh, gatas ang baka ang nangyayari rito. Just a clarification? Isa na lamang po. Isa na lamang para mapagbigyan ka naman na uh, Congressman Barsaga. Attorney Pukalyan o Attorney Mangawang o kung sino man ang attorney sa inyo, alam niyo itong Corporate Order Number 2018-0039. O, oh, eh, tingin na na naman kayo eh. Ito, ang sinabi niya rito, the policy under PBR, yung sinasabi ko kanina na 2334, ito yung pagpapalit ng, uh, ng parusa, kahit na file ng ex executory, merong sinasabi may exceptions. Alam mo ang isa sa exception, attorney po kalian, attorney mangawang, etc., etc. Cases, with decisions of the arbitration office. Okay? OCCOO or board or any offense which are already already on appeal with the courts. Maliwanag dun eh. Pagka nasa korte na, huwag mo nang pakikialaman. Hindi na po pwede yung Peel Health Order 2334. Katakot-takot na palis yung ginagawa ninyo, pinapalit-palitan ninyo, kasi eh, Ayon yung proteksyonan. Ayon yung alagaan. So, paano ang pagtitiwala ng mamamayan sa inyo? Fiduciary responsibility, Mr. Chair. Kayo na mismo ang nagtakda nito eh. Kaya ang tanong ko kanina kung po pwede lang sagutin bago ako matapos. Ganun pala ang pakay ninyo sa perpetual socor na kahit na napatunayan ninyo yung nagkasala, isipisipin ninyo, Tatlong araw lang ang, ang, ang confinement ng isang pasyente. Ginawa niyo yung tatlong po alimbawa. At eh, siyempre, malaki ang kikitain niya, di ba? Pinag, uh, pinagmamali niya yung mga entries. Falsification. Ayaw niyo naman pala siyang suspindihin. Ha? Pinaikot-ikot pa ninyo, pati Court of Appeals, babalik din pala kayo doon eh. Bakit po ganun? Pwede nga ba sumagot, Atty. Pukoy? Ba, hindi, hindi nyo naman pala sususpin. Wala naman pala sa bukabularyo ninyo na suspindihin. O, di ba? Pwede ikot-ikot nyo lang, pati korte. Kagaya din sa Cardinal Santos. Nag-ikutan lang kayo. At palalabasin ninyo, korte ang gumawa. Mr. Chair, palagay ko napakaliwanag ng paikot-ikot na ito eh. Salamat po. Mr. Chair, I agree. Uh, no, before I recognize you, Tony Pukalan, short reply. Bakit? Ano nangyari? Sir, actually, I warned, in that legal opinion was presented to the board, I warned them that that is your, the action of the board will be susceptible to partiality. Kaya nga, I suggested that... Oh, Tony Pukalan, tap, ma, ano sana eh, pi, eh, ako ihinto na sana, wag, wag kang magsisinungaling lalo. Winarn mo. Eh, bakit mo ginawa ito? Wawarningin mo rin pala. Dapat hindi mo ginawa ito eh. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Oh, just Probably. for the clarification of the lawyers, may mga abogato tayo galing sa PILHER. Just a very simple question. Can, I, uh, uh, can an administrative agency like the PILHER, even with the approval of the Board of Directors, can change a decision coming from the court, which is already final and executory? Meron mang president yan? na meron ng desisyon ang gusgado, final and executory, pagkatapos papalitan niyo pa? Uh, yun, sinasabi ni Honorable Rebulla, hindi mo susundin to favor a party. At ano yung pukalian? Kaya niya answer. Sir, according to OGC's legal opinion, it can be done. It, the, the modification... You are a lawyer. The... Ang sinasabi lang natin dito, desisyon na to ng gusgado. Pwede pa ba natin palitan yan? Which is already final and executory, there must be stability in so far as judicial decisions are concerned. Ang nangyayari dito, para namang iba ang batas nyo at jurisprudence sa nalalaman namin. So, simple question. Pwede nyo bang baguhin ang final decision ng usgado? I will recognize... I will recognize Atty. Mangawang, who is the Corporate Secretary. You should have given legal guidance to the Board. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, there were the the board was aware. It was aware at that time of the general rule that a decision that has become final and executory can no longer be altered. But it was also aware at that time that 
that there are five exceptions to this uh, general rule. Okay. And the board at Pero, that time... Okay, balik na lang tayo, simply na lamang. Kung i-alter ba ang desisyon ng Muskado, sino ang mag-alter? In case of fraud, accident, mistake or excusable negligence. Shall it be the court which render the decision or the administrative body? Kaya, eh, sinasabi ko lamang, simple lamang. Kasi may mga nanonood sa ating abogado o nakikinig. O yung mga future lawyers natin, pagkatapos maririndi nila mula sa abogado ng pilel, may final decision na, ang usgado, pwede nyo pang palitan. Sino ang mga member of board? Member ng board of directors at the time. Pwede mga awang? Uh, the members of the board at that time, Mr. Chair. Sino ang mga members, members ng board? Uh, Sino yung present? Uh, are, are you asking who was present during the meeting, uh, Congressman Barsaga? Nang modification or amendment or the change okay. of the... Ang, ang unang tanong ko dito, at, uh, Honorable Barsaga, all members of the board were present nung ginawa to? Hindi, uh, di ba? Sir, at that time, there were 16 board members present. Uh, one was absent, sir. Okay, so go but ahead. Only 15 were present and all 15 signed the resolution. Sino nga yung labing lima? Uh, our chairperson, Secretary Duque, uh, Acting PCO, Dr. Ferrer, uh, CSC Commissioner Valderoso, Valderoso Jr., the Bautista, the alternate of uh, DILG Secretary Anyo, Secretary Bellio, uh, SSS President Attorney Dook, uh, the alternate of Secretary of the Finance, the NAPSI Vice Chairperson Mr. Alderosa, uh, OFW Sector Representative Dr. De La Serna, uh, Secretary of the Board, did you ever tell them or advise them, Sir, wag niyong pipirmahan yan, delikado po tayo. Did you do that? Did you do that? So we, we presented to the Board the... the Hindi po sinabi kung pinresent mo. Pinresent mo talaga yan. Sinasabi ko lang, did you ever advise them? Kahit na halimbawa personal, Sir, pag-aralan muna nating mabuti. Did you do that? Kasi sabi ni Torni Pokal yan, o di ginawa niya ito, ano? Pero winarningan ko po sila eh, kinusyon ko. Ganito ang ginawa mo, Torni Pokal yan. Para kang nagluto ng isang pagkain. Niluto mo, tapos binigay mo, sir. Kung huwag niyo pong kakainin yan, malalason tayo. Ba't, ba't, ba't mo niluto in the first place? Ganito lang yun eh. Alam mo, kahit na yung mamamayan natin, kung nakikinig sa atin, maintindihan niya na pinaglululoko mo kami Uh, Atorni Mangawang, abogato ka naman, ikaw ang corporate secretary, hindi eh, ba? Ang tinatanong ko lang naman, siyempre may kakilala ka naman sa mga board. La, yung mga board natin, hindi naman sa dami ng ginagawa nila, siyempre kung ano yung inihain mo, niluto niya eh. Niluto niya. O ikaw naman, daladala -dala mo. May, may mga pinggang ka na, pakakainin mo na. Sinabi mo, boss, huwag mo munang, huwag mo munang kakainin yan, delikado po tayo. Bakit? Eh, ang nagluto po si Atty. Pokal yan, hindi naman po talaga kusinero yan. Eh. Baka po kung anong pinaglalagay niya. Ang totoo naman kung anong pinaglalagay na Ricardo dito eh. Mali-mali eh. Papa, papano po nat? Ayoko na po. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, tatanungin ko lang si Atty. Pokal yan. No? Uh, alam mo, bugbog ka na talaga dito at kung talagang ikaw ang gumawa nito, mananagot ka talaga sa batas. Now, ang tanong ko sa'yo, ginawa mo ba ito on your own volition? Or somebody ordered you to do this? Kasi, alam mo, kanina ka pa namin tinatanong ni D.S. Marcoleta, no? Talagang sa iyo pumapokus na ikaw lang ang gumawa ng kasalanan. Kitang-kita namin dito sa lahat na ikaw talaga ang gumawa at ikaw ang nag-offer sa, sa board. Now, ikaw pa talaga ang gumawa o may nag-uto sa iyo na gawin ito? Tony Pokalan, let me just remind you that you are under oath. At lahat po na sinasabi niyo dito, we will use in a committee report. So, pwede ko kung magsasalita na kayo, magsalita na kayo dito. Eh, this is your chance, ano, Tony Pokalan. This is your chance. Another thing, just a warning, attorney. This might be a ground for your disbarment for rendering an opinion that a decision of Court of Appeals can be modified 
by an administrative body. Sige, Atty. Paul yan. Maaari mo ba sagutin ang katanungan? Again, sir, uh, I stand by that uh, opinion. No? Because... May nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yun lang ang sasagutin mo. May nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yes or that... no? The board, sir... May uh... nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yes or no lang? Wala naman po, sir. So, wala nag-utos? Opo. So, ang lahat ng responsibilidad, responsibilidad ay inaako mo? I stand by, sir, by that opinion. Because that was also affirmed by the OGCC. Then, although I warned the board that uh, there will be a possible... Remember, Attorney Pugalian, you are under oath. Yes, one, one, one You are under oath. Attorney Bersaga. Uh, Congressman Bersaga, I'm sorry. Right now, do you think that you can change or modify the decision of the Court of Appeals, which is already final and executory? Based on the exception, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, what exceptions? There, there's an exception on the substantive. Uh, no, for sure. Uh, substantive justice. Ang magche-change will be the court which rendered the decision, but not another agency. Yung mas sinasabi mo ng exceptions, PhilHealth ang magdedetermine kung pwede palitan o hindi. Sir, because under R.A. 7875... Hindi ha, sinatanong ko na lamang. Yung sinasabi mong exceptions na pwedeng palitan o i-modify ang desisyon ng Court of Appeals, ang magmo-modify ba o magpapalit ay ang board ng PhilHealth, officialist ng PhilHealth. Yes, sir, because the quasi the... judicial power is vested in the Hindi nga, pag sinabi natin judicial powers, does PhilHealth have judicial powers? Quasi judicial power, sir. Oh, ang judicial power, ang katanungin mo, very clear sa constitution. Judicial power shall be vested in the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Executive, the Executive Department, legislation sa amin. Kaya ang tinatanong ko sa iyo, as a lawyer, right now, sinasabi mo ba sa amin, kayong mga congressman, dapat niyong malaman na ang decision ng Korte Suprema, ang decision ng Court of Appeals, kahit na final and executory, pwede namin palitan sa PILEL. Is that what you are saying right now? Since the PhilHealth Board, sir, has the quasi-judicial authority to penalize... Oo nga, balik na naman tayo sa quasi-judicial. Pero, Honorable Bersaga, Mr. Chairman... Ay, naglulokan na lang tayo rito. I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Fernandez... Ay, mo, kasi B-sited in contact. I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. I was about to say that. Mr. Chairman, session suspended. Yes, I would like to make this motion. I most respectfully move, Mr. Chairman, that we cited, that we cite, Attorney Jonathan Bukalyan for contempt for misleading the lawyers as well as the public that an unadministrative agency like the pillar can change or modify the decision of the Court of Appeals which is already final and executory and that would actually constitute behavior in our proceedings and that I base on my knowledge as a lawyer and I think most lawyers, if not all, would agree with me that there must be finality in so far there is a motion is a very dangerous precedent. Even if there is already a decision based on this precedent, they can modify and change the decision of the Supreme Court, all the final and executory. I second there the motion. is a okay. motion duly seconded. Second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Are there any objections from Zoom? Are there any objections? There being none, motion is carried. My next question, in a declaration of contempt, sa ating pong pagdeklara ng contempt, ano pong parusa ang ipapataw, Honorable Barsaga? Well, I move that he be detained in the... before the House, up to Monday. Okay. Uh, meron pong motion hanggang lunes. But let me just uh, read the particular section as provided by the Comsec. Section 11, Contempt. Rules of Procedure Governing Inquiries of Trade in Aid of Legislation. The committee may punish any person for contempt by a vote of two-thirds of the members present, there being a quorum. The following shall be grounds for citing any person in contempt. Refusal without legal excuse to obey summons. Refusal to be sworn or placed under affirmation. 
refusal to answer any relevant inquiry, refusal to produce any books, papers, documents, or records that are relevant to the inquiry and are in the possession of the concerned person, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee or undue interference in the conduct of proceedings. Contempt of the committee shall be deemed contempt of the House. The person cited in this section may, upon order of the committee, be detained in such a place as the chairperson or acting chairperson may designate. Section 12, penalty, by a vote of two-thirds of the members present, there being a quorum those cited under Section 11, paragraphs E and F, shall be detained for a period not exceeding 10 days in a place designated by the chairperson or acting chairperson under the custody of the sergeant-at-arms. Ang motion ni Honorable Barsaga, there's a motion for contempt. The motion is to declaring contempt and to detain him for three days. Are there any objections from plenary, from Zoom? There being none, the motion and the penalty is by carried.